Amy from rebelnutrition.com and I am so excited to give you a tour of the tiny house that my husband and I are selling today because unfortunately we can no longer live here since we travel the world full time. But first before I get into that I just wanted to share a little bit about our story with minimalism and tiny house living because it absolutely changed my life and my husband's life for the better so even though we can't live in this house anymore it really did allow us to get to where we are today so as you can imagine when we first moved into this 190 square foot tiny house we had to sell pretty much about 90 percent of our belongings um, and that was kind of the start of our minimalism journey which was very different from us because we'd never really lived like that before but it was also really cool because it helped us get started paying off the debt that we had acquired which at that time was over ten thousand dollars of debt and we were just wanting to live a different life than we had up until that point because we wanted to travel and we didn't want to be you know bogged down by our bills and things like that so we sold almost everything we owned and then at that point we lived in such a tiny house that we never bought anything that we didn't need because we just didn't have room for it so during the time that we lived here we started paying off debt we were living really, really minimally. And during that time, I also started my business as a nutritionist online, which I never really would have had the time and energy to start building and start working on um, if we were still living in a huge house with a mortgage and I had to pick up another job or something like that. And it took a couple of years, but we ended up through minimalism and living in a tiny house, we ended up paying off all of our debt. My business really started taking off and now my husband and I both run my business full time and we're traveling the world full time. So that is why we're selling this tiny house sadly, but I share this story because I really want to be an inspiration to people right now who are in a lot of debt, who are trying to fulfill their dreams and maybe they want to live a life of travel and not being owned by your possessions. It may take a little bit of time and focus Focus, but it is so possible for you and so I just wanted to share that before I get into the tour so I'm just about to show you guys the tour of the tiny house but before I do that if you are interested in building your own work from wherever business you can check out more about what I do at rebelnutrition.com okay here is the tiny house and if it looks familiar to anybody if you guys are big HGTV fans um, it actually was featured on I think season one episode three of HGTV's Tiny Luxury. So it was built by Tiny Heirloom in Oregon and it's 190 square feet. And something as a nutritionist that I really wanted, I wanted a lot of counter space. So when we designed it, we made sure there was a ton of counter space and also a full size fridge because I like to keep a lot of um, fresh produce and things like that in the fridge. And just so you guys know too, if you are interested, it is move in ready and you get everything that is pictured in this video. So fridge, oven, um, microwave, all that kind of stuff. I also really love how modern it is and how bright it is. So something I really wanted to is having a lot of light shining through. So that's why we plan to have big windows so that there'd be a lot of light coming in. And I just love how kind of bright and modern and cozy it is in here. So there are four burners on top of the oven. The oven is not full size, but I definitely, I think I've cooked like two trays of food in here at once. So it does still fit quite a bit of food. And then there's tons of storage space under the counters, which is really nice. Okay, so now moving to the other side of the house, there is a little bit of storage here under the stairs and these stairs lead up to the main loft. But people have been asking us a lot, you know, what we did about storage. So there is some storage under the stairs. This area you could also use as storage. We do have a washer dryer two in one kind of unit that would come with the house if you wanted that. But if you didn't, you could also just use that as storage space. And another thing I forgot to mention, we will show you in just a second, but there are two lofts. So one is kind of like the master loft. It fits actually a king size bed and then the second loft is more of like a hangout loft but you also could probably fit like a twin size bed up there too if you wanted to make it like two bedroom but coming back here into the bathroom there is a flushing toilet so this unit would not be totally off the grid you would have to connect it to water and sewer and electricity there is a floating marble sink which i really love this was something that we definitely wanted when we were building it and then um, there is a little bit more storage space in here for like toiletries and stuff like that and here is a look at the shower as well 
And the house was built in 2015. It actually wasn't lived in until 2016, so it is still pretty new. And it is road ready, so it, as long as you have a truck to tow it, it actually is ready and it can be moved pretty easily. We have moved it a few times before and it is relatively simple to do. Okay, so this is loft number one. This is the side that does fit a king size bed or a king size mattress, which is really nice. Um, and one of my favorite things about it is it actually has a sunroof. So in the summer, something that's really cool we used to like to do is open it up and feel the breeze, the warm summer nights, and also you can see the stars from there. So pretty cool. I love this loft. And then the second loft is right here. It would fit probably a twin bed, but like I said, we kind of just use this as an area to hang out, watch TV. And then there is a little bit more storage area up here. Um, and then this loft you can access by this ladder. So if you guys are interested in buying this tiny house, the tiny house listing will be below in the description. And if you wanna learn more about how I travel full time and run a business now, thanks to minimalism and tiny house living, you can check out rebelnutrition.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.